<laughs> Spoke to your lawyer and he just said to just stay away from schools. You've got enough friends. You don't need to go and make new friends at schools. It's fucking weird. Okay, call him back tomorrow, by the way. He's been trying to get a hold of you for like two weeks. We live, man? We're there. Week number four. It should be number five, but oh no, I had to get in a doctor's all last week. Oh, wow. Man, what a fucking stressful fucking week, man. I'll tell you what. Health is probably like... It's probably like second most important thing. And let me tell you, all right, for those in their mid to early 20s, you're going hard heaps. Just fucking... Um, like if I could go back to my 20s and just remove like even just maybe 30% of my partying, I would do that in a like, fucking heartbeat. Just sort of take nine less caps on a night out. Oh, yeah. Not do those extreme things. Yeah, we really took too push many it. too quickly. There's no need for that. And I promise you, you will regret it, regret it one day. It will catch up with you. So I went to the cardiologist again. He made me do all these tests. I had to wear a 24-hour blood pressure machine. I had to go and get a uh, renal um, ultrasound. I had to... Um, What's a renal ultrasound? It's like where your kidneys and shit are. Okay. And um, to see like the... Because my blood pressure is just like 150 over 90, just sitting there all the time. And uh, made me get all these blood tests and shit. Anyway, the renal ultrasound uh, lady was like a bit concerned so we all started panicking, thinking, fuck, I've got kidney diseases. It's something to do with my kidney. And it all made sense. All, all of symptoms. the symptoms, it was just like, oh, fuck. I fucked myself up in my late 20s, and here I am now paying for it. Well, all your 20s and your teenage years. Yeah. And, 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 and kidney- fuck, as a kid, you fucked yourself with your sugar noodles, your German food. And the kidney disease... <laughs> is irreversible you know according to normal medicine irreversible incurable just sort of sit there and your kidneys get worse and worse and worse until you're on dialysis and you die so we're a bit fucking panicked then right just because mon's family goes to this chiropractor they um the day before i got my blood test results back because i was freaking out and i was just going to anyone really to to, to fucking for a bit of advice about what was happening so I went to the chiropractor and he's a kinesiologist as well and fucking hell out of like I've been to fucking six different doctors in the last 12 months spent like three grand on testing I went to this chiropractor Rigby chiropractors in Brisbane they honestly like listen to this this is how fucked this is okay I went there not expecting anything I don't really go to chiropractors or kinesiologists it's a really weird process that they make you do it's, it, you wouldn't think that it would be a pro it looks like fucking just some random witchcraft shit. yeah it look, literally looks like witchcraft when you get there he said to me, he made me do all these things, and he's like, I don't think it's your kidneys. I reckon it's your adrenal glands. And then he gave me this um, natural medication, right? Fucking, it's legit called love, and it's a, just a mixture of all these roots. I potion. had some. Within six hours, my blood pressure was had dropped like 25 points. Within six fucking hours, all it does is just calms your adrenal glands down. Then the next day, I get my blood test results, and the blood test results match exactly what the chiropractor slash kinesiologist had said. Exact like six other doctors have been staring at my heart. Oh, your heart looks fine. I had to get another heart echo. Oh, your heart looks fine. Blah blah blah. This that. Maybe think something else. Like spending so much money on all these specialists, no one could fucking tell me what was wrong. Went to one chiropractor slash kinesiologist, gave me a little fucking fifty dollar vial of like herbal shit, and it has worked better than any other medication has in the last two years. And after sitting here for after two years, it's the first time my heart's not beating out of my chest. I don't. Feel Feel it beating out of my chest, and it's a natural fucking remedy, Matt. Do you understand, cunt? Not everyone has to go to the fucking specialist. And let's be honest, doctors these days, with what they're pushing, are pretty fucked. They are fucked. Well, it's it's all it's all geared wrong. They're, they're treating the symptoms. They're not treating the cause. Okay, it's the, they're not looking for a why. They're just oh, you have high blood pressure here. Have this tablet. They're legal oh, drug dealers. Th- this tablet is giving you this side effect. Oh, here have this tablet for that side effect, and so on and so on. The cause is never treated, so you get sicker and sicker. Honestly, I could not fucking believe how well one trip to the chiropractor went. Plus, he fucking fixed my shoulder a bit 
Like it's honestly like I'm gonna so, go there too. So to what are you gonna go for? I just want to maybe have sex. Okay, they do offer that some of them. But anyway, so to conclude, I get some more test results back next Monday. But the blood test showed they think it's my adrenal glands are just fried from chronic stress over the last however many years. And so I just need to do things and change my lifestyle to make sure that my adrenal glands aren't just fucking constantly trying to fire adrenaline into my body because they're just so fucked. They miss fire. Yeah, Marty, they're constant, even while I sleep, my cortisol levels are through the roof because they're just constantly trying to squirt adrenaline out, even though there's nothing left in them. And it was literally like painful where my kidneys were. Like it was so sore. So that's when I was like, I was convinced, oh, this is kidney disease. Did you take what the chiropractor told you back to the doctor and be like, oi, this I haven't, I haven't seen, I haven't seen the cardiologist. Like, oh, that's bullshit. Yeah, blah, I see blah, the cardiologist. Yeah, but it'd just be good to take, take this back. jab. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I will tell him. But but it's but, good but, to take it's, it back. Uh, and see doctors and media, they look at if they someone said to them, "Oh yeah, I take this natural remedy and it's working," they just roll their eyes and like, "Oh yeah, whatever," because they don't learn about that shit and that you're told that it's all bullshit. But honestly, two years of stressing about this heart shit it, it, within one appointment at a chiropractor and kinesiologist, I feel so much fucking better about everything just after him giving me this fucking herbal medicine. It's unbelievable. What do you think, Matt? I think it's the best you've felt coming out of a For two years. Test. For two oh. fucking years. So like, you always come out stressed and not sure yeah. what's going and on. And I still have more test results to get, but I'm less stressed because the medication is working. So and you just go back to him. Yeah, exactly. So if you're fucking struggling out there and you don't know what's wrong with you, just try it. Go to a chiropractor slash kinesiologist. Can't just be a chiropractor. I need, they need to do kinesiology. Just try it. And have a fucking see what it, and that it, when you that start making you do weird shit, just trust me, okay? It fucking worked very well for me. I'll keep you guys posted on if it continues to work. But best I felt in two years. What's and kinesiology? Man, I don't. It's who <laughs> knows. He's got Magic a degree shit. in science though too, like we do. Yeah. Like they're, they're full science and doctor. It's just a weird thing. Yeah, it's just a bit different. We're different sort of science. I think with physical science, painful science. Speaking of Matt Brown, happy birth, Day. you happy. It's you. Matt Brown's birthday, everyone. And she was included in a science video of the ages today. He, that should be out right now. So if you want to see the fucking Matt Brown video, Matt wanted, he came to us. Want us to do an experiment? Which I, it which, wasn't my which idea. whip whips the most? He was very. He urgent came about to it. us. He ran at us backwards, demanded that we do this experiment, and then beat the fuck out of us with whips. Yeah, we have some marks on our body. And Actual my whips. God, I fucking never want to do that again. Yeah. Plus, if you see us dripping sweat, it's because it's like so hot in here. <laughs> it's boiling. I'm, dude. Super I'm upset. like dripping sweat now. Dude, look at me. I'm dude, glazed same. already, and I've it's just it begun. Down. It's just begun. It's so bad. So hot today and so humid. But it's Matt Brown's birthday, so go in the comments, say, happy birthday, Brown, and tell him what you want him to do to you sexually because that's what he gets off on. (laughs) How old are you today? 38? I'm 35. 35. Shit, man, we're starting to get a bit old. Dude, that's halfway to 70. Yeah, shit's starting to fall apart. Dude, that's halfway to 70. You live your life again, you're 70. Yep. That's not fucking. That's not fucking around. Once anymore. you're seventy, you're fucked. You're dead, pretty much. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> well, like your you quality of life would be pretty shit at seventy. I'm so Actually, glad. I'm you. so. No, look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's like seventy. Yeah, he's running he's around. He's like fucking unheard of ringworm. I have such a nicer outlook now on life now that I know that it's not my heart. My heart is fucking awesome. Yeah, dude. It's just some my adrenals. I, I might live to fucking your age now. Sixty-five. I'll be so happy with seventy, man. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, it was like, as I said, health is probably the second biggest, most important thing in the so world. So stressful. So like, it was a very, very stressful week. That type of fear, like you don't, you don't want that. Like, trust me, that type of fear is life changing. Seeing him like that was really rough. It's life changing fear. Okay, like so, just fucking look after yourself in your twenties. It's as fun as it is. Just moderate a little bit still right? get fucking yeah like, still have the best caps. time ever but just don't push it as hard as you can every single time yeah 
Yeah, try and give your body a rest. And yeah, just have like two to three pills. Yeah, you're not impressing on anyone by doing heaps. Well, come oh, on we, now. We, you we were, were very impressed. Rad. We no. were so cool. And I the, the amount of people, impressed. the amount of people, Dude. the amount of drugs that we've done to other drug takers, you get a fucking high five and a head nod like that. I yeah. was impressed Whoa. with the footage I would get of you guys. Yeah. Some impressive. people would take one cap and die. What the fuck? And we'd have three of those same caps. It's a bad dose, like getting a no. bad... No, no, we had the same pills that... like. And Julian even like, said, who sold us the the fucking drugs his mate died the day before yeah and he's like don't take more than one of we these we took three we took three that night I, I don't, don't really, remember anything I couldn't piss for hours yeah, and was so fried we didn't that. talk we just sat in a lounge room grinding our teeth just fucked out of our mind there's no conversation I don't remember it that I sounds like a fucking it. awesome night yeah well we were fucking <laughs> sick Matt we were fucking sick sick in the head and it's translated to sick in the body later in life no you're fine now yeah, so I'm actually fine fuck now. it Take as much as you fucking want because well, uh, well, let's just wait. Like, you just get your adrenal glands fried, and that's fine. Well, let's just it's wait till next hats. next Monday. We'll have all of the results, oh, yeah, and then we'll know. Put a Who hold knows? On Imagine if they just up. said I have fucking cancer or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are, fucking oh, yeah, yeah, and I've got fucking cancer right. count. <laughs> fucking, like, put a hold on getting really fucked up. But if you're in the clear, that shows with science. That you can do as many caps as you want and then you are fine. But you will have to turn your life around at some stage. Yeah, probably about 30, then start to think about turning. If he around. was still doing what he was doing, he you'd be fucking right next to the you'd be a doctor diagnosing me. Uh, really? Maybe, I don't know. I reckon I'd be getting di- diagnosed. Diagnosed. No, I, I, diagnosed. I, yeah. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. I would be I would have OD'd by now. Let's be honest. Matt, be honest. Nah. All right. Okay, I don't think you. I think you uh, continuously did it. Did things you never, you never pushed the limits every single night. You just continuously did things, so your health is just continuously damaged. <laughs> yeah, it, never, it never had a rest. Everyone, our mate Shane Warne. Yeah, shit. I don't know if you guys yeah heard Shane Warne. He sent us a video for our um hard segment. So he's a friend of the podcast. He died heart attack. Fucking so, um, yeah, f- crazy. He's a very healthy guy too. Yeah, so maybe fucking yeah. Don't get fucked up. <laughs> I guess it's just luck of the draw. It's yeah, like it has to be it's luck of the draw. law. It's, it's struck of the law completely. It depends on what hand you get dealt and timing. Yeah, I think. But yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's a rough one. What a lovely guy. We love you, Shane. Wherever you are, and uh, shout out to his family too. Yeah, They're pretty yeah. fucking shout out fucking. To his family. But. There was also a bit of water around town. And fucking hell. Yeah, the floods. Everyone, like, people died? Uh, a few people died. The This place right here, right, when the the peak of the floods, I fucking, at night time, I was like, oh, fuck, I better go and... I was Because Michael was at his girlfriend's place, and that's a little while away. I so was I was Mulaney. like, Oh, yeah, you're a Mulaney, right. So I was like, fuck, I'm going to have to come and check. So I drove, and the bridge right before this house was completely flooded. I couldn't pass it. So I was like, fuck. This place might be fucking underwater, baby. And then we get here on Monday and the fucking Michael, one of Michael's bins is gone. You can see the water came up pretty fucking high, brother. Yeah. The, 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 for some reason, our boat, we have a boat, by the way. Yeah. We're a, the a fucking small boat dinghy. was just like out the front of like the house. The, the, the dinghy is usually kept at the back of the house. It was tied to the front fence with an extension cord. <laughs> It was when an we AWOL up. boat. So the boat must have been floating away. With no one in it. No your, one in it. One of your neighbours who's probably a hero probably sprinted over and, and strapped it up. Yeah, I like to think it. so. It very, yeah. very, thank you, neighbour, whoever did that. Maybe it was one of the horses. Oh, the horses. But they okay? I wonder how the horses went. Yeah, God, it was hectic. And everyone said, don't drive home on the Bruce Highway. I drove home. Well, it depends where on the Bruce Highway. It's quite long. <laughs> they said that we were trapped. In the Sunshine Coast hinterlands, they said that we'd be trapped. No, we weren't. We were fine. They just said that. Yeah, some areas w- were okay, but man, fucking others rain, fucking copped it. Like fucking- there's some in the south side of Brisbane. I had people at my work. They lost uh, lost their houses. Suck for them. And northern New South Wales, they're still fucked right now with yeah. no help. We're fucking... If you guys are still oh. struggling, if there's any listeners from there, let us know in the comments. We're, we're trying to decide whether it's still worth it to go and down like, and help a out. a real big fuck you. It's always been a fuck you to the media for what they've done, especially the last couple of years. But fuck you even more 
for this whole flood situation. And not Fucking helping. Fucking assholes. And not help. Well, not really. The, the media are too, but the government as well. Yeah. The, S- the send them some fucking, fucking help. Thing. Yeah. God damn it. It's really, really shit. Yeah. It's a, it's a poor response. Oh. It's a very poor response. It's grossly, grossly. It's poor. grotesque. A lot of it's people coming out though. Willem Powerfish. He, yeah. Well, fucking Willem is helping out he's a, so much. He is an absolute legend. What did he do? He put... 10 grand or something at an IGA so people he's, just he's get gone, supplies he's gone again today he's gone to fucking Lismore today to, to deliver more and if there's any viewers from there let us know we're still considering whether we should go we're just so backed up now with filming because last week I was it was fucking we didn't get anything done because I was in and out of fucking seven different tests and couldn't really film with a bloody blood pressure thing on my arm and fuck me mate fucking yeah, was, fuck off cunt it was very <laughs> scary there's lots of pro surfers are out there on jet skis getting people out of houses Mick Fanning was Getting rescuing people and jet yeah. skis, but anyway, you all know this. It's Most been of a rough, people- rough time. Well, it's always fucking yeah. been like that last couple couple of years. Anyway, moving on to something really, really exciting. I've come up with a new concept. I don't oh, like no. that you're fucking looking at me. No, 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 no. This has got nothing. Well, you Good. can use it. And this goes out for everyone. And I think everyone, you know, is struggling in this time. I'm and not. I've come up with a, a concept. It's called paying I, th- I can't really remember it i think it's called paying it backwards remember the one paying it forwards no pay for pay it forward it's like a movie the yeah, kid pay gets it killed at the end yeah pay it forward just ruined it for everyone who hasn't seen it but yeah, anyway, well, it's continue. fucking it's shit maybe, film. maybe spoil anyway it. this is called paying it backwards so on sunday afternoon i was at woolworths with my girlfriend <coughs> it was backed up in the car park and there was a massive, massive argument. Someone had snaked someone's car spot. Oh. And they'd gone in and we'd just parked and we'd witnessed the whole thing. We'd be just parked and then That'd of been course, good to watch. the lady gets out and there's this, this couple that gets out who snaked the car park from another lady. And that lady went off at the couple, especially the female who was driving. And then the female driver went off at her and they had a big, big argument. It was fucking crazy. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, ended with her swearing and blah, blah, blah. We went into the shops and then I kept seeing the couple that had snaked the car park from this lady. Anyway, we got our shit. We went back and I was like, fuck it. Let's, let's stir this shit up. All right. So then I, oh, we, got no. a, we got a note and then I was going to, I started with the F word and I was like, nah, too harsh. Cross that out. And then I wrote, talking drive to, talking better. To I am drive better, bitch. <laughs> And then we went over and I quickly ran over, snuck it, chucked it on her, her windscreen. And then basically we ran back and I just waited. It was so exciting. Then they, the couple walked forward over to their car. They got in. They didn't fucking see the note. The note was right there. <laughs> anyway, they drove away and then we followed them for like out of the car park and we got onto the Jesus. road. And then like, as we got onto the road, the note flew off on like off their car on into the middle of the road. And then they pulled up we're like, fuck, we have to see this. So we pulled up near them, but it was obvious because we're in the Marty and Michael fully actual van. <laughs> so we had to sort of look like we weren't parking up. We we're just driving just around. Just started checking the tires. Yeah. Anyway, we, we sort of did this Yui around them very susly. And she made her boyfriend go get that note. I could just, she just, she looked like the most grumpiest bitch in the world anyway the boyfriend (laughs) grabs the note he reads it and he starts chuckling to himself (laughs) and he walks up hands the note to her and she just see her face just get so mad and frustrated anyway we paid it backwards it's kind of fucked up man (laughs) it's kind of fucked up you followed them that far Hey, yeah. I've got a question. If there, if it's really busy at the at the shops, right, and someone gets out of the car from like the back of the line and walks over and stands in a car park to to secure it, waiting for their yeah, car, no. on. is that it's not, not on. on? No. Yeah, I've always been against that, and fuck, I've had a few. That shit that like Karens do. You see that stuff on YouTube? Yeah. Nah, I'm not fucking moving. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, anyway, that's, that's, that's say it backwards. Fucking, there's something from my Bible. Take it as you wish. All right, let's move on. Though we got to get past the. We still got to do the sponsors, which is going to take a little while because we've got a brand new one. And then we're this, we got to guess. Let's get past this boring shit and into the fucking beef of the podcast. 
All right, the sponsors. As you can see, uh, Manscaped uh, sponsors us. Okay, go to manscaped.com, use our discount code, fully actual 20 for 20% off all Manscaped products. Look at the table here, okay? They've got new like shampoo, conditioner, they've got body wash, and we actually had a look. They're like par- paraben, paraben and sulfate free, which is like fucking good. They're cancer. Yeah, they don't give you cancer, these ones. They've got deodorant now, they've got roll on, they've got body wash, shampoo, conditioner. So it's actually oh, like. Good. Like we actually They sent us a whole box of this So we are using this Matt you can Fucking have one If you want Take one Take one as you leave If you want <laughs> Have a look at That's real nice bottles 20% off If you need, need new body wash It'll be at your house Within a few days This is just body spray So you can just spray it All over your body Is that what it's for? What the fuck is going on? You spray it all over your body because it's called body spray. Is that what it does? It's yep. just a, so it's like deodorant, but it's just a just hydrating good. body spray. Yeah. Fuck me. See what I mean? They got shit that you didn't even know that you need. See how nice that is, Matt Brown. Yeah, yeah it's hydrating for you. Drink it. <laughs> I think you can drink it. See. <laughs> You can drink it. Oh, actually, I don't know that for sure. Anyway, so manscaped.com, uh, discount code fully actual 20 for 20% off. We're also, this podcast is funded by the University of Marco, our subscription website, okay? It's got just yesterday a video posted where Matt is whipping us with all sorts of different whips, extension cords, whips, real whips, TV antennas, car antennas, a belt. Look cool. So fucking painful. If you want to see that, you can watch it for free. There's a 21-day free trial. So you can see if you like the content. We post one weekly video every week that would never, ever be allowed on social media. Don't you understand? Social oh, media yeah, has so many civil, rules. They don't know about the Civil War or oh, the Revolutionary the civil, War. Oh, yeah. No, no, that let's call it the Civil War. Yeah, the week the before... American Revolution, you fucks. The week before yeah, we did a video The world with is the world. Potato guns. Yeah, we can call it whatever we want. It's a Civil War. Yeah, because... Countries, the world is one country. The reason doesn't matter. It's the civil war. Yeah. We filmed the civil war again. Okay? It and was we shot England each other. America. And we both had potato <laughs> guns. <laughs> so anyway, it's, uh, I got him in the head twice Dude, with a fucking they, potato the gun. The worst tennis ball hit I've ever had. It had a bruise shocking. on my head. Two headshots. Shocking. They come out like from here to here so fast, Matt. Here to here fast. Anyway. Brown. I- Brown. If you want to go and have a look at that content, link is in the description for YouTube. Um, Universityofmarkle.com slash 21 day free trial. Anyway, we have a brand new sponsor. Let's do a little clap first. Because we don't get many sponsorships, as you guys know, because I fucking pull my ass cheeks apart and squirt fart into microphones. And we talk about Matt stalking. Okay, not many companies want to get on board yeah. with us. Yeah, we do. But NordVPN, <laughs> they want to get on board. They now, helped us. It's a three, three episode trial, so help us out. We've never actually even used a VPN before, right? So we've been forced to go to NordVPN. Let me just get my notes out here. I got some shit that I need to say. It's very, very. Have you ever used a VPN, Matt? I have. This a- is so good? you can it get al- it allowed Netflix me to use yeah, in America. If you're in Australia, you can get better Netflix. Right. So there's there's a couple of pretty good massive benefits, right? So now first you have complete security. No one can fucking hack you. Okay. A lot of people think that VPN slow your internet down. This one doesn't. NordVPN does not slow your your internet speed down at all. That's fucking insane, oh, Matt. Plus. You know how America and Netflix get all the fucking awesome shit and is way bigger and like just any entertainment anywhere in the world, you'll be able to get. You can pretend you're in America and you get American Netflix. You can pretend you're, if you're in Russia, this is more important to you than ever right now because they have blocked everything from you. So any Russian fans listening, Get NordVPN, okay? To grab your exclusive NordVPN deal, go to Nord, and so N-O-R-D-V-P-N dot com slash fully actual or use the code fully actual to get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan plus one additional month for free plus a bonus gift. It's completely risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. So try it for 30 days. If it's shit, just unsubscribe like you do with our website. 
when you watch our shit. Same now, thing. And you get your money back. I reckon help us out. If we can do well with this, then we, then get, we can keep them. Yeah, then they stay on. Then we actually progress in this podcast. So because we're we're not even we don't make money from yeah. this. This it costs us. This costs money. us so much money. You know, any idea how expensive Matt Brown is? Sitting there with his fucking glasses and towel, and have to give him all that manscape product. He's very expensive. Not to mention we have to pay Connor to edit. It's just, and we none of these are ever monetized. So just help us out. NordVPN.com slash fully actual get a vpn see what it's like where we've never done it we've never had a vpn but fucking fuck it let's do it together we'll all get vpn yeah. and no one will know where we fucking live then we'll be safe and they won't be able to track you you can no hackers will be able to see your search history cunt your disgusting <laughs> filthy search history <laughs> nord vpn they're very good <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hurrah, hurrah. <laughs> <laughs> On this day. Shit, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, <clears throat> I want to get baked for this. Is it bong break? Because that was a long set. All right, yeah. Let, let's now that all the boring shit's out of the way, here comes the good shit, all right? We got the fucking bong break time. Yeah, too. we got all the good shit coming. Fucking Oh, but before we cut to bong break, if you want to support us, you can't support us by doing any of the things we just mentioned. Please just drop a, a like where the little thumbs up is and drop a comment. If you don't know what to comment, just comment the word comment, okay? We pick comments, to f f comment anything you want, man. Brown? Subscribe, it really helps us out to see those numbers grow. It tricks YouTube into thinking that people want to see our dumb shit. So even when it's not monetized, it gets shown to new people. So please it, drop a like, man. It helps. Drop a, drop a fucking like, man. We're all in this together. We're all in this together, Matt Brown. That's right, bong break! And we're back. Also, I forgot to mention before the bong break that Nord VPN, the link for that, it will also be in the description in YouTube. Okay. That makes it easier. And we're going to put it above the Manscaped link. Okay. Because um, that's how grateful we are for Nord jumping on. And um, let's just see if they stick around after hearing our fucked shit. Dude, you're looking good. I look exactly like Michael now. Michael Myers. <laughs> it's the red hair, man. Hey, it's strawberry blonde. Exactly. On this day. Okay. Here we go. On this day in 2012, Taylor Swift tragically had a miscarriage. She did not realize she was pregnant and went to a theme park. There she went on the most terrifying roller coaster ever. As the roller coaster rocketed up, the G-forces were so strong that her fetus was sucked out of her and left hanging on by the umbilical cord. The roller coaster took a sharp turn and the fetus slung into a piece of roller coaster structure and obliterated it. Bits of fetus exploded onto the other passengers. Once the ride was over, Taylor was incredibly embarrassed and tried to make light of the situation by telling everyone to shake the fetus off, just shake it off. A year later, she even wrote a hit song, Shake It Off, based on the incident. I'm Matt Brown and I'm a horny cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that is, man, that is extreme. But she got a lot of money out of that one. She wrote that song out of that. That it was just very goes to popular. Show. You turn a negative experience into a beautiful pop song and it can take you anywhere in the world. So next time you hear that song, Shake It Off by Taylor Swift, now you know Check it off. how she came to that. It, that's perfect, man. It maybe gives inspiration to have similar experiences 100%. to get shit like that. Pregnant women, go on, go on, get on roller coasters. I might write a hit song. Well, it might spark your pregnancy, Matt. Okay, it oh. might it might begin the birthing process. Gosh, could yeah, could go. I'm not trying way. to kill anything here. It trying could, to help out. You could get yeah early birth. Trying to help out. So it's like if you are due, then go on a roller coaster. That's pretty Because you don't want it to stay in there for too long. If you are due? Speeding it up. What does that have to do with it? Oh, yeah, sorry. I should apologize for that. Matt's the only Jewish person here. Are you Jewish? How did you not know that? That's why he doesn't have a foreskin on his head. Yeah. Holy shit, are you Jewish? Dude, how do you, dude, all the Jewish jokes he makes, you've never caught on? Oh, you wait, wait! You're playing with me because I'm stoned. He's not Jewish. Yeah, I wouldn't. I can't say that. 
It's okay if you are. I'm just uh, I'm well, confused you sure? if you're Jewish or not. His dick indicates that he might be. Really? Do you, but you can get circumcised and like not be Jewish. Ramadan. Have Ramadan. Do they do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, Matt's Jewish now. All right, Michael's Bible. Oh, here we go. Speaking, this is part Jewish. That's exactly right, baby. <clears throat> okay, chapter 2, verse 10 from the book of C. You must be B to C B, and to C B is being C itself. Does that make sense? You're following so far? Yeah, yep. yeah. So I'm open your it. eyes and be. Seeing does not exist without being. Just as being does not exist without seeing. They are one in the same, but also complete opposites. To see is to truly be, just as to truly be is to truly see. See? I want you to call me Beezus from now on. <laughs> now, this one, people Beezus. get confused with this because they think if you're blind, then this excludes you. But you can still see things in your head. If you be. If you're be, blind. Yeah. yeah. A sight itself is not seeing. Being is seeing. And seeing is being, I think, is the lesson to take away from that. And, I, and you know what? So that means we are, instead of just human beings, we're also human seeings. Human seeings as well. What do you think, Matt? That's heavy, man. I, I feel f- different. Yeah. That's I feel heaven. like a weight has been lifted from my back. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, because I always thought that you got the weight on your back. Yeah, I feel like a weight was lifted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is a new sound that Marty started with Rhonda. I've never heard cool. Rhonda say that or any sort of voice from you say, "Hey," in that, <laughs> that tone. Yeah, she's um. Well, oh, speaking Arnold, of, yeah, Arnold Fine. Who we figured out is, is having, Rhonda's husband. Well, well, that's what he's telling people. I secretly think that Arnold Fine is having an affair with Rhonda, but when people see them together, he says, "Oh, this is my wife." Anyway, that's just a hunch that I have. Well, Arnold Fine's wife is so sick. She is sick. She's an alcoholic, but yeah. so his real wife could maybe be like actually sick with a terminal where she can't get up. Yeah, well, I'll have to ask him. And so I don't know any of that. So off he's the top of my head. He's he's like side chick is Rhonda. Well, we're just we're just speculating here. I have no idea. All right, we'll have to find out at the end of the episode when he prank calls the same tavern that Rhonda called Matt. His eyes darting around, which tells me that it's time for. <sighs> oh, <sighs> what Matt Brown? Yeah. Little black book. Oh, my Brown's little black book. I thought, my brown, shouldn't it be black called black Little Brown's book? Little Brown's bl- book of black. Brown. Little my br- little black brown book. Oh, let's oh. see what secrets dwell in this lair tonight. Uh, this lair? Uh, uh, oh, here we go. Little brown, brown book. All right, let's see where we have this here. Ah, yes, here is the spot. Mm, oh, it's quite a long one. Have number 22. 22? 22. Mr. Blue, you've had so many haves, Mr. Brown. I've had a few. He's had a few. I've had two. Look at you. <laughs> <clears throat> I was enjoying my stillborn roast for breakfast when there was a knock on the door. I glided backwards to my front door and opened it. I was greeted by an absolute monster of a woman. She was at least eight foot tall. I stared up in amazement. She had long, thin hair and a receding hairline, a monobrow, and some hair on her chin. She smiled to reveal her yellow teeth scattered throughout her mouth. I'm your new neighbor, she bellowed. I just coming to introduce myself. I am Hulk from Sweden originally. She offered to shake my hand, and her hands were the size of dinner plates. I'd never seen such a massive woman before, and I felt a third testicle descend from my inner core, as I knew it would take a lot of mints to fill this creature. Welcome to the neighborhood. I am Matt Brown. 
Pleasure to meet you, Mad Brown. <laughs> she had a twinkle in her eyes, and my little Brown sensed something happening. Would you like to come in for a cup of coffee? I inquired. <laughs> that would be lovely, she replied. She had to duck to enter my house and remained hunched over to not hit her head on the ceiling. The floorboards creaked and cracked under her weight as she walked. I led her to the lounge room and told her to sit. She instinctively sat on the floor as she knew her head would still hit the ceiling as she <laughs> sat on the couch. I went to make the coffees and glanced back right before I left the room. She was staring back at me and biting her bottom lip lustfully. Her crooked yellow teeth pierced through her lip and blood was rolling down her face and dripping from her hairy chin. I gave her a little wave and continued to the kitchen. I could not believe my luck. Not only had this freakishly large giant wandered straight into my lair, but she was showing very obvious signs of interest. I returned with the coffee and as I entered the lounge room, I looked at Hulk and she was completely naked. She had light brown hair in between her tits and all over her back and legs. I could see that look in your eyes, Matt. Now come and have me. I pegged the coffees at the wall and let out a Victoria shriek. My legs and torso swelled up to such a size that my clothes ripped off of me. My little brown was dancing like a cobra, ready to strike. And then all three of my testicles were writhing with maggots and hot mints. The giant, still hunched, sat on her ass and lifted her giant hairy legs in the air. Break me, Matt Brown! She screamed. I sprinted at her and with a run-up, punched her huge gaping split. It <laughs> swallowed up my arm to my elbow and I felt her cunt grasp onto me. The giant stirred with pleasure and grabbed at the back of my head. She pulled me in and licked my face with her horse-sized tongue. With my free arm, I started groping at her lightly hairy tits. I managed to pull my arm out of her and lined up her gash with my hips. I thrust forwards and my little brown didn't even touch the sides. So wide set with this was this monster's pussy. The beast started sucking on my entire head and this sparked my little brown to swell to ten times its size. I was finally erect enough to feel the sides of her box and started jackhanger hammering at this creature while my entire head was still in her mouth and both my arms played with her huge sagging tits. The inside of her mouth smelled like rotting meat and I power vomited directly down her throat similar to how a mother bird feeds its young. I felt my ejaculation surge begin in my ass so I jackhammered harder and harder until I exploded. My little brown opened like a blooming flower and glowing hot red molten mints surged from my core. She released my head from her mouth and she felt her insides being burnt from my mints. Black smoke <laughs> billowed from her mouth and eyes and she collapsed backwards unconscious. I finished coming and unplugged my disfigured little brown. The giant was dead. Smoke still pouring from her. Burnt from the inside out. I dragged her corpse to the, my incinerator and turned her huge corpse into ashes. I had pinched a load off in a giant and it wasn't even midday yet. Fuck yeah, cunt! You killed a woman. You've, oh my god, dude! You burned her from the inside. So you've actually like you've. Oh my god! I don't know if that's legal. Black maybe we smoke. Should, maybe that is the sickest. Should we cut like, that, man? Coming from her eyes. Maybe. Yeah, that's black very... smoke coming out of her eyes. And that mouth. is an intense fucking picture. Should we cut that, dude? Like, are you oh. gonna? Is that okay? <laughs> are they looking for her? Should we check with legal? Yeah, we might have to check with legal. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> <laughs> She's like a fucking giant. <laughs> yeah, eight foot is massive. Man. Like, imagining something from like Jack in the Beanstalk. Yeah, like that's a big, big bitch. <laughs> Matt Brown. Oh, Matt oh Brown. very good. Bravo. Oh, my well, God. Well done, Mr. Brown. You have <laughs> conquered another woman, huh? Mm, in true Matt Brown style. She lies now. She lies in ashes. Oh, well... Mm. Oh. Yeah, fuck. Right. I guess it's a shame about the life, but she was a giant. Yeah, she, she was like a like, monster. She seemed like she didn't quite fit in in the society <laughs> anyway. Let's just say that she was like 800 foot. <laughs> what? <laughs> Instead of 8 foot, 800 foot. Let's just pretend like that never happened. Yeah, okay. All right, next we have the cow. Moo! Oh. Which is the comment of the week. And um, we all decide on it, right? So if you want your comment to be comment of the week, it goes up on the board. But Mr. Brown has forgotten 
last two weeks ago the winner of the comment of the week and so we haven't got the new comment on our board can you hold the board up man it's a very me. good board it's a great board but we have it so we'll add that one plus this week's comment of the week which has already been decided and yeah. matt will now read the comment and then explain why we want to give it comment of the week matt brown well it was a very very highly liked uh question so um so it was because it's highly liked how many likes are we talking here baby i think we got 67 and it is a question too isn't it it is a question so it all gets right well we won't answer it now but read it out we'll answer it when it's questions time we can launch straight into questions yeah that's so true why don't we good go conversing. from comment and now if you want us to answer your questions by the way all you gotta do is just comment your question we answer the questions with the most likes as long as we haven't answered them too often previously so if you want your question answered comment a question and have a scroll through and like the questions that you see because we will probably answer them man well said thanks man it's so hot man i know my hair is so red Pour me sweat <laughs> everywhere. Look at me. I bet I'm sweatiest. All right, the comment for the board is it goes to fly by night. Well done, fly by night. Who comments all the time? So thank you, fly by night. Um, <coughs> it's a question, and the question is: Does Michael have a better sense of personal hygiene now that he's he has a new girlfriend? Well, we may as well jump straight into the questions, and that is a great question to start. Thing, baby. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, he's forced Definitely. to have a much. Do you ride. have a routine? Yeah, routine now. I had the same questions when he when he started fucking staying over at his girlfriend's, because like fucking, <laughs> what girl is gonna want to live? This in, place is pretty. It's you got fucking sauce all over your curtains. You got a rat and fucking disgusting. Yeah, fuck, I forgot. I haven't seen them for yeah. ages. I saw one you when I came in. Really? Really? Yeah. No, you didn't. You, yeah, got you got to film it, Matt. They I want didn't. to see it. He ran. Because I always look out because I've got to catch him. Got to sort of, catch him. Oh, oh really? Michael's rats. One. Just one. Yeah. Oh, just one. At least one. Well, that's right. one. That's fine. I wonder, hopefully, they're all right after the floods. I don't. I'm willing for them to be sacrificed. Wow. I bet there's a python it's out there disgusting. having a feast, though. Like, fuck. If there's only one. Also, guys, if you see the fully actual okay. um, YouTube account replying to comments, it's it's Matt Brown doing the replies. I see you sometimes pretend like you're uh, you're us. Matt sometimes pretends that he's us replying as the fully actual. It is Matt Brown replying. So if you want to speak to Matt Brown and have a conversation with him, you can do so in the comments. And the Marty and Michael comments and replies, those are from us. But we do go through and read all the comments. Mm. So even if you don't see his reply, we do you know what we should have do? a good read. Start thumbs upping them just so they know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can do that. I I'll up start thumbs them. upping them when we read them. He that's does. easy. That pretends that he's us sometimes. Well, I don't. Hang on. <laughs> so nice to be able to smoke a little bit of weed again now the blood pressure's down because of some miracle medicine that chiropractor gave me. Yeah, I guess you'd be stressing way less. Yeah, dude. I sleep now at night because I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> <laughs> You have a new lease on life. I might, yeah, I can live again now. Congratulations, dude. I hope it just stays like this, eh? And it's, I hope I don't get any bad news next Monday, but I won't. The blood test <laughs> oh, very fuck. good. Yeah, yeah, you won't. 100%. Surely. Still, I haven't got my renals results yet. Touch wood. Where? Is that the we did this experiment? It doesn't on that. work. It doesn't work. Pretty sure. I can't, I can't remember. remember the conclusion. <laughs> we'll yeah. have to redo it. The conclusions are stupid anyway, Matt Brown. What's the question you have on your mind for us? Question is from James Williams. I doubt it. But anyway, um, go on then. Question for the podcast: When they make a movie of you guys, who would you pick to play yourselves? I would pick Matthew Gregory Brown, uh, Dennis from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, to play me. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Michael does. Um, Which good? one's he? I don't know. Fuck, I don't know names. Danny DeVito? Maybe. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Danny DeVito to play Matt Brown. <laughs> really short, Matt. <laughs> That's really short for some reason. Uh, for Marty, he chose Jason Statham. And for Michael, he chose Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Very random. They look nothing like it. Yeah, I wonder how they'd go play. I'd go us. Risa Farns my own film oh Risa Farns mm. I don't know yeah. who that is he's from Notting Hill 
The spike dude. Oh, the spike that guy, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And for Marty, I'd go... Um, Paul Jack Rudd. Black? Maybe Jack Black for Marty? Um, Just because he can act it? But he has to get skinnier. Yeah, I don't know, eh? It's a tough one. Fuck. I can't do one for you. I think Marty difficult. should play himself. They're all they're all so like good looking, most of the fucking Hollywood people. They need some like uglier cunts there, eh? Sorry. <laughs> it's just funnier if you're ugly, you know? <laughs> now you can't. Fire red hair, baby. <laughs> 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 he got upset. You startled him. I'm not fucking joking. You, you broke the computer. It's literally frozen, everything. Oh, he's joking. Yeah, I'm joking. Oh, I could tell. But I made him feel bad. You almost had me though. I'm and very clang clung. Don't ever kick the computer. <laughs> um, next question is from Samson Link. Uh, has Michael ever had a breakup solely based on the gross shit he does? No. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> we are in shock that has not happened I can't wait because Amber still hasn't watched any of the website vids eh oh well yeah we're gonna what do a reaction <laughs> dude I, I really think we're, we're gonna for the, for the website we're gonna sit our girlfriends down and show them if we don't show any of the video we could also just film that for social media because like that'd be fucking hilarious true that is a social media yeah well you could chop it up you could do like show the video and their reactions and on for social media you can just um have their reaction i guess we can just blur the bits that need to be blurred there's some yeah i guess what about there's the some, fucking dude, volcano asshole one man what about the fucking you laugh you lose i'm gonna dress as a cat sh shitting in a kitty litter box and you're pouring fucking a year's worth of golly on your fucking head oh yeah that is fucked and and the the of olympics man a shit on your back <laughs> i forgot about that so anyway. he might get dumped soon. Yeah, fuck, you never know. <laughs> Imagine if she broke up with you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. I'm sorry, Michael. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, the golly bottle too far. Next question is from Joel. Um, question for the podcast. Does Matt partake in the bong break? No, he's not allowed. Not allowed to do bong Not at the break. moment. Also... Even if I could, oh, it's probably not the best idea. Why, Matt? Oh, I get silly. Imagine if yeah, Matt. That's was the high. whole point. If I get too that's silly, I won't be able to. It. This whole thing I won't be able to control silly. the contraptions. This whole yeah. thing is silly. Makes like everything just ten percent better. Look at better. the chair you're sitting in, man. This is. <laughs> 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 yeah, it would make that chair 10% better. When am I getting a new chair? Because this is fucked. I think well, every five or 10. Well, episodes. we're going to do oh, it. Oh, five or 10 now. No, we're going to do it roughly every 10 just because we couldn't be fucked going out <laughs> buying so many chairs. But, Maybe you should just buy but, me one good one. But, you know, it is his birthday. Maybe. Oh, yeah, dude, let's give him a new chair for his birthday. We do have the new chair. <laughs> Do you have a new chair? <laughs> yeah, dude. Let me go. If you go, it. wait, wait. Let's put Matt in the other room first, so that and we'll lead him out and we'll reveal his reaction on camera. I can't believe this. This is so good. <laughs> yeah. All right, Matt. What you if it's go worse in, than this one? You got to go in my room. Oh, <laughs> I'll have the chair waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's gonna be shit. Oh, yes. Go, go oh sit down God. in the room, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, dude. We should just put one wooden spike. It's like one of those egg chairs. Okay, this is for people who can't listen, on, who can't watch on YouTube. It's like a white egg chair, like a, <laughs> with like a lid on it. It's hard to explain. Like picture, picture an egg, right? The shell of an egg. Cut it in half and then put it on the ground. And that's what Matt has right now. 
All right, Mr. Brown, come on out. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> come Happy here, come birthday, here. my Brown. Oh. Sit in your fucking chair. Oh, your br- that? It's a new Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Lift the lid and have a seat. It's even a chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a backrest. It's for your back, your neck. If you're ever sitting out in the sun in it. It's like a neck rest. <laughs> <laughs> That's where your neck will go, where that little back. Sit down, is. Mr. Brown. I have to check if my camera <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah, it will. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Speaking of the microphone. Oh. It's, oh. You are a bit lower, but it works. It's good. It swivels. Yeah, see? More functionality, oh, we thought. I don't know. My bum's already sore. And now you can lean back. So we thought this is <laughs> yeah, definitely an upgrade. A, a neck rest. How bad is my camera angle? It's good. It's, it's probably better. It's really if you're a little good. lower really? camera That's shit. what I envisioned at this throughout this whole season is that your head is quite low in frame. Oh. This is so cute. <laughs> Look at your legs. They're all like they're near the table. <laughs> your it's- knees are near your ears. <laughs> and that's good for hearing... Your yeah. legs supports your ears. This fucking sucks. Oh, I dude. hate it. It's hot as fuck in here right now. This is the hottest day we've had filming a podcast, it's I reckon. It's just so bad. Anyway, next question, eh? You're welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Matt. <laughs> Happy Do you want birthday, your other Matt gift Brown. now? Yeah, go on. Let's give him his other gift. We'll get this out of the way. You got me another gift? Yeah, dude. We got you something serious. Something something serious to, to Why help. Why is it in a brown bag? To help curb your loneliness. It's a flashlight. Oh, no. <laughs> her name is Linda. It says Linda on the box. It's a fucking pocket pussy. And I, I know you're going to pretend like you're disgusted at that gift, but enjoy it, man. Okay. Hey, between you and us, hey, enjoy it, dude. Consider probably use lube. Is that what you did? Yeah. Lube. And then realistic just- tunnel bring you authentic enjoyment. Exactly, dude. You can pretend you're fucking whoever you want. You can be watching the news and pretend you're the news anchor is having a hang tankery with you. Holy shit, hang tankery? A hang tankery. Is that a real thing? Yeah, it's a German name. It says no smell. <laughs> <laughs> hang tankery. <laughs> Do you love it? And her name's Linda. Use it now. I hate you guys. <laughs> Trust me, you'll use it and you'll say yeah, thank you. Yeah, of course you. he'll fucking use it. But anyway, let's let's pretend like it's a crazy gift that he's not going to use. Now, this might have come in handy when he was stalking all those. That is a that's a very very good birthday present. Now we'll go on to the next question. <laughs> that chair is so. <laughs> oh. It looks like he's in a it's wheelchair. A <laughs> Don't you reckon it looks like he's in a wheelchair? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like a wheelchair egg. Oh, oh very good. You look cute. It's like summer camp. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Next question is from Snakes Makes. What happened to Michael after the henna ink? Wasn't he supposed to go and meet his girlfriend's hmm. parents? <laughs> oh, you got most of it off, but it took three days to get it really. Yeah, like, what did they off. say about that? Oh, they just, they didn't really notice because I had a hat on and then glasses and we we're sort of at a field and I was kicking the ball around with them. Oh, you like, didn't get too close to them. Yeah, with the nieces. And oh, well, there you go. And... You fixed it. So I got away with it. But they're cool with the vids, so it's okay, I think. Yeah, man. It's definitely a concern of mine. I was like, remember we were posting that fart compilation? I was like, man, <laughs> so cringe if Mon's family watched this. <laughs> did she say that <laughs> Mon sent it to them? No. No, she didn't. I just got a text from Mon's dad the next day. and He had watched it, but he was, he was laughing at it. So it's all good, baby. <laughs> Yeah, well, farts are like, you can't go wrong with yeah, farts. Of course, farts, but let's let's be clear here. What I do is not a normal thing. Yeah, I guess it's very, I very visual as well. I pull my cheeks apart and drag it out for as long you as I can. You shouldn't be able to make that sound by exactly. pulling them apart. Everyone gets confused. Sounds they like go, you've got a tight ass or a zipper. Yeah, I tried. I can't do that sound. It's impossible. I've yeah. tried it many times. Anyway, fuck, we got we to gotta get going. We got to do Bachelor... Oh, shit. Yeah, we got to do the Bachelor Brown segment after this straight away. Okay. Can we just move on or... Yeah, yeah. next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, oh. this goes perfect. Ratmaster has said... <laughs> Ratmaster. Michael, can you... 
Oh, sorry, you can use the brown chair as a footrest if Matt ever gets an upgrade. I just got an upgrade. So if you want a footrest, you can use the blue chair. Next question is from Deflo. Uh, will you boys ever go back to a gaming channel? Oh, like yeah, we're, we're meant to. Fuck, we keep saying that we're going to this year. But then if you say yes to too many things, it, it becomes just, too hard. Yeah, it just it sucks the fun out of everything. So we're just sort of happy with the workload at the moment but we would definitely never rule it out we've got james on board full time now oh yeah and as he in, fun. as he as, as we get into routine and set things up and he gets faster each year, we will have more time baby so we definitely ain't ruling that shit out <laughs> next question put is it from- over there man <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh. so next question is from deflo uh do you remember your favorite german food marty oh <sighs> Look in like, Germany. There's like the quality of meat there. Killed beast. Well, yeah, man, hundred percent. You know, for breakfast there, they'll have you can eat mince raw in Germany, and they get the mince out in for breakfast. And they smear it on rye, and then they'll slap a bit of mustard on, maybe a pickle, and that is just fucking. It's delicious. Really, love it. All right, final Great question. Great quality meat there, Matt Brown. I think you'd really enjoy it. Chair. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Next question is from Spencer TXB. Um, did Conor McGregor or his team ever try and contact you over the savageness of his picks that you guys wrote comments on? No, he never did. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have been him who blocked us either. It would have just been with one of his social media team. But still, it's pretty fucking cool. But we're trying to get verified on Twitter so that we can start the same thing again on there. So follow us on Twitter, Marty and Michael on Twitter, because we will be trying to get there again. I want Connor to read what we say. You can only do that with a verified account. Do you understand? Do you understand, my brown? Oh, it's so hot. (laughs) It's so hot in here. (laughs) The egg sort of keeps the heat in his back. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. Would you prefer the blue chair over that? Fucking A. Really? Oh, too shit. late now. Why don't you try and spread your, like, straighten your How legs out a bit? How about you fucking leave me like, alone? Yeah, look, You've yeah, already damaged going? me enough. Keep going. Spread, stretch Just move on. Me. It's like a downgrade. But like, there you go. That's a bit better. <sighs> yeah, that looks comfier with your legs straightened out. Shut up. <laughs> Is that it? Questions? Yeah, we're done. Move on. <laughs> All right. It's time for the, one of the best, most important segments of our entire life. Do you understand? <laughs> This is like, this is when, this is when this podcast goes from a normal podcast into changing people's lives, cunt. Do you understand? (laughs) This man over here, he's 35 and he's fucking alone. He's all alone over there. He's got his flesh. He has no one. He has nothing. Matt Brown, Bachelor Brown. So this is where we call people that have sent in their numbers. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you, we've got some female listeners. They've sent in their numbers. We're going to call them and see if there's any chemistry with our Matthew Brown. Can we just not do and this anymore? Have you spoken to any of the old yeah, ones? Yeah, you had to go the, the second one. Oh, they said hello. I just said hello back. What, so you're not talking to them any longer? Is that what you're saying? That's rude in society. Is that what you're saying, mate? You I don't say, talk to them anymore? I say hello if they say hello. Okay, so you are still talking to them? Sort of. They're not watching really. right now. So what, they what, you don't, love you heart emojis? You don't want to keep talking to them? They've been very nice. Okay, so it sounds like they're not going to make the final three unless girls, like... Send him better uh, shit. Lift your game. Like, start talking to him a bit more. So we've been sending another number. There's not going to be any final three. So That idea is fucked. So by the end of the season, right, we're going to no, pick... No, Matt's going to pick out his no. final th- three and we'll bring them in. And he chooses, like, the one by sound, <laughs> not sight. She makes some, like, mating call thing. Yeah. And he'll choose by sound which one he likes the most. Well, I don't oh, think this is an Australian exactly number, but anyway, no. let's... Here in we go. three days, she lives in his house. <laughs> and we, we video the whole thing. Sam- no, Sam- maybe. Sammy, her name is. Stop. All right, so... We here- haven't discussed the details, but that's pretty much it. There are no details to discuss. <laughs> yeah, there'll be, it'll be, yeah, there'll be right. maybe five. This, right now, this girl I'm about to call could be the future Mrs. Uh. Matt Mintz Gregory Brown. You'd never yes. know. This could be her. This could be her. Oh, I doubt it. Here we go. All right, let's see what we got here, okay? So annoying, man. Hello? Um, hello, um, this is Marty here. Who, who am I speaking with? 
Michelle. Michelle? Very nice to meet you, um, Michelle. You, I've just got you on speaker here, and I have Michael sitting next to me. But more importantly, uh, to my left, I have a very, very handsome Matthew Gregory Brown, and it is actually his birthday today. And <laughs> he has been so excited to talk to you, Michelle. He's been bouncing up and down and doing a weird little shake and bobbing his head to the side with a gross, fucking weird smile correction. on his face. And so um, we're just wondering if, um, you know, maybe it's okay if, if he talks to you for a, for a few minutes. <laughs> a telephone date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, that's so good. It, she wasn't her. What Someone's given us a number to just one of some chick they know called Melissa. Michelle, yeah. Same thing. And now she just had to cop that. I thought it was meant she to be She doesn't even know who Sammy. we are. I thought yeah, that's what we thought. She listened to that whole spiel and then was like, what the fuck? I'm going to call James again. Maybe he goes oh, wrong. I think we do that. That's very good. That's fucking hilarious. I say we do that one. That was a good roller coaster. <sighs> All right, so now this <laughs> oh, he's nervous that's good sign in that brown's nervous no, I just some wanted to be over with to just cop that I just wanted to be done <laughs> some random woman denied your Michelle. advances <laughs> oh, sorry no. Michelle come on please just oh. answer your fucking phones uh oh hello um hello this is Marty who am I speaking with Ah, uh, Sammy Louise. Ah, uh-huh, Sammy Louise. Welcome yeah. to our fully virtual oh, podcast. God. I have you on speaker with Michael to my right, but more importantly, we have the beautiful, dense Matt Brown, <laughs> and it is actually his birthday today as well. I don't know if you yeah. know that, Sammy. So, um, okay. yeah, so Matt was just wondering if he could maybe like have a <sighs> chat to you for a few minutes and maybe like woo you and see if you're interested. Whatever conversation Matt is about to come up with, he has pre thought about and was trying to woo you and impress you with his charisma. All right, so just bear oh, yeah. that in mind. <laughs> you're right, it's go it's such an in. Anything, nothing is like out of my you know out of my window I'm up for anything about anything well, there you oh, go wow. that's a good start Matt and Matt, Matt loves to hear things like that you're up for anything <laughs> so Matt why don't, why don't you tell Sammy a little bit about yourself yeah do it oh <laughs> tell her about your birthday <laughs> oh my birthday today Matt come on you're fucking this up yeah I'm not very good at this Sammy come on tell her a bit about yourself or something God, what do you do when you meet someone? You talk to them! Don't you hurt us! Try your best. That's so intense to deal with. Somebody. Ask her about it, like, what, what colour she likes. This is, hang on, Sammy, where are you from? Uh, I currently live on the north coast near Byron Bay. Oh, okay, cool. Dude, that's, so that's drivable distance. We were going to yeah. go there to help with the floods anyway, mate. You can come and you can meet her. You can First come. date vibes. First date vibes. <laughs> do you love? Do you love her, Matt? Hey. Let, let Matt. No, no. Matt's got okay. a few more questions. Matt's just got. Go on, Matt. Talk. Okay, what do you do? What do you do for work? You can do it. What do you do for work? That's a good uh, I question. work as a bartender currently and I'm a full-time single mum. So I bartend in the daytime and I am a mother to my son every other time. <laughs> nice. Matt's ready to be a dad. He's definitely ready to be a yeah, dad. Yeah, I could be a stepdad. And how old are you, Matt? Today I turned 35. Oh, sweet. That's a new 21. All good. How, how, how old are you? Um, I'm 28. Oh, cool. Oh, that's okay. fucking well, perfect. Well done. Holy perfect. shit, that's perfect. Day. And literally, I think every lady that we've spoken to is has been a mother so far, Matt. You must yeah, have that, a lot of you single must have that mums. Far, fatherly <laughs> vibe about you, the way you Definitely. hold yourself. So oh, wow. and, that, and that dad bod, I've seen it. That is, uh, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> He's got a dad bod for the ages. <laughs> and what? What do you what do you what do you like to do in your spare time? Oh, what are your hobbies? Oh, that is it. a good question. He's into it, man. My spare time? Well, it, it could be anything. It could be something oh, for going for an adventure through the waterfalls and rainforest to an adventure with you. Like, depends oh. on the mood. Okay, so adventures adventures are always fun. Oh, always very well said. Yes, well said. yes. Adventures are, are always fun, Matt Brown. You are, are correct. Fun. Exactly. 
Yeah, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> now, now, Sammy, this is... Look, he's laughing at a joke. He loves Sammy. Sammy. Holy he shit. He definitely loves he Sammy. He pointed at the phone and his eyes lit up like that and he was like, ha, 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 like that <laughs> just then. <laughs> it was childlike. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, like, I'm, not, I'm not even shitting you here. You wait to see with this. You. This is the most excited I've seen him <laughs> for one of these calls. He's legitimately... He's like a primary school kid. He's, a bit, he's like he's got butterflies and shit. So, Sammy, if it's all right with you, I will yeah. pass your number on to the brown oh no we'll do instagram yeah. we'll and do it that's easy would you be willing oh, well, to come up at the end of the year yeah look, no, no no at the no, very no, end of the year and move in by the sounds no, of it with matt brown we're, we're going to get the top three finalist oh. um bachelorettes up for their season finale sammy just i'm definitely there for sure we'll, we'll pay of course for everything and you'll get to meet the brown no. in person <laughs> no of course yeah cool. wait that is oh yes, yes. That dude is you've got a wife you've got a wife yes Yes! Oh, Brown, I love this you, is Michael. I've been watching you for so long. Oh, uh, we really <laughs> appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank I'm going to you, get Sammy. your Instagram off of you via text, and then I'll pass you on to the Brown, and you guys can see, feel each other Converse. out, see if there's something yeah. there. <laughs> He's so excited. Oh my god! <laughs> Brown! <laughs> Brown! <laughs> Brown! <laughs> Brown! <laughs> Brown! Oh, thank you very much for your time, Sammy. Yeah, you the best. Matt will be in touch. Bye, Sammy. All right, oh, my God. God. Man, he's so Brown! Excited. Matt Brown oh my has God, a Brown. girlfriend. You have a fucking girlfriend, dude. He has a girlfriend. <laughs> Matt dude. Brown has a girlfriend. Oh, my God. That is a big deal. Dude, you did well then, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Well, much you better. You were so good. Much better than previously. Previously, you just <laughs> fucking sit there. Look, fucking idiot. And I had to make so the conversation for you. Very, me. very good. But you tackled that head on and I think you impressed her. Oh, Brown. I'm Brown. so happy. She sounded you. really nice. You guys, you found the one, basically. Yeah, dude. I liked her little cheeky vibe she had. Oh, oh he's doing that because boobs she has. <laughs> Oh wow, yeah, true. I haven't even seen her yet. Dude, no, she could tell she's the one, right? Mm, that's Maybe. definitely promise. I like that she's from Byron Bay. Girls from Byron Bay are really nice. I think just under Byron Bay. But, oh, nice yeah, like Mullumbimby. So sorry. Well they got fucked by the floods. We we're gonna go and help. Yeah, I know. Hope she's okay. Uh, that yeah. could come down. Come down like a ton of bricks. Bound down. Mm, oh. Gallons of fresh water. <laughs> Ooh. It is German Achtelbergish German Achtelbergish And this is a segment where I say something that either sounds German or is German And these two fucking cunts have to guess whether it was German or gibberish Whoever guesses the least amount right Gets fucking hit by me at the end With the wooden, the wooden spoon. spoon The German spoon After today I'm probably <laughs> deserving of a hit because I got to belt you guys. You did, um, did. You definitely assaulted us. Yeah, you hurt us badly. Oh, my God. Our backs are fucked. Matt, Actually, we I had to redo some of yeah, this because Matt kept missing the part he was meant to hit. So we ended up being in a lot more pain than usual. Okay. Don't, don't do that. Sorry. Why have you got the spoon? Because I hold it. It's just like a, I don't know, it's got it's a feature. Mm. Yeah, it's like nice to swing about. All right, let's get this done. All right. <clears throat> First one. Sammy. Katzen anspucken! Katzen anspucken! I'm gonna. Oh, say, that's bullshit. Yeah, Who says spuckling? Yeah, I say no German. Yeah, it's not German. That is German. Oh my god. Well, either of you like to ca take care of what that means? Um, I want to get naan bread with my Indian. Katzen anspucken! Cut that beer in half, we'll share it. I means spit at cats. Katze. Okay. Okay. Next. <clears throat> Milch schnell erbrechen! Milch schnell erbrechen! That is not that German. That is not German. You're both wrong. That is German. Oh, fuck. Hell. fuck! That means vomit milk quickly. Vomit <laughs> milk quickly. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. We're not going <clears> that <throat> way, are we? Still zero zero. Number three. Flip sich vier gehalt! Flip sich vier gehalt! Fuck. It's He's not gonna German. try and convince us. That it, I reckon it is German. No, that's somewhere. not German. He's gone German to fuck with our psyches. No, it's not. He's German. doing maths. No. I know him. You got to play the it game. It is not 
German. You see? Mr. Brown is on the oh, board. You Look. see? Okay. Mr. Brown is on the board. I got <clears> fucked <throat> hard then. Go. Kracht Braufschwelle! Kracht Braufschwelle! That's not German. That is German. Oh, fuck. It's, yeah, hit me. <laughs> that is not German. Oh, one, one all going yes. into the last one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what happens here in the last? We're tired. It's scissors, it's paper, tired. rock to choose. If we both have the same ringworm, it's scissors, paper, rock. Teubschmittel Jagerfest! Teubschmittel Jagerfest! Oh, 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 shut up. That That is nonsense. You can't say that. That is not real life. And if that is, that's fucked. It's either I got to say... What do nah, you think? fuck it. It's German. <gasps> on. Yeah, unless you've put some Irish spin on it. It is not German. Jagerfest, oh, right. I thought, would throw you guys. Oh, because that's just fucking shit, baby. Feel bad hitting the birthday, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do it properly. Oh. Do it like Michael. I can't do it like Michael. That's madness. Just do it. it actually hurts quite a lot. <laughs> it, it sucks. I sort of want to show you. Up Maybe up go up a forearm for him. I reckon the lower forearm will could kill so him. Much for me. You paid for lunch. You got me a girl. It's your birthday. <laughs> oh. That's seventy percent. Yeah, you'll get like a little. It's like a little sunburn. It's like a sideways. Hey. Yeah, it's a bit of a bludgeon. Oh, look, he says red mark. Good boy. All right, next ringworm. Watch this. This is sweat. Oh, yuck. Squeegee. Leg squeegee. Do you understand? Next, we have the PO unboxing segment where we open the shit. Shit. And we got gifts that you guys have sent us. If you want to send us something on the PO box, we open everything live. It's two five six Tagum four zero one eight Queensland Australia. Tagum is spelled T A I G U M. Let's open one each. I shotgun the big one. It says careful on it. Which one would you? What's like? your birthday? You oh, choose. Brown. Yes, I can um, see who this one's from. I'll take the Australia Post one. This one is from Nicole. Uh, is that the first? Who's bachelor? Girl? Oh, look. Look at this. She's just sent her Instagram and she looks lovely, man. Have looks a look. very friendly. Very friendly indeed. Look at man. Look at his face. Brown's found Connor, the one. Connor, zoom in on that face. Look at that. Oh, my God. He's lifted his sunglasses to get a better look. <laughs> He's interested. He loves mm. her. He's got a cute kid. I knew too. you'd love her. Mm. I knew she was the one for you. That's a bit weird, man. So okay. just keep your eyes on her. Oh, right. shit. Oh no This is from Nicole oh, no. So this will be is, good What oh. did Michael open? Well we've got a new manuscript What is it? Michael's opened one of the letters Explain so to people what This is the Marty have. and Michael PO unboxing segment By underscore Or by Andrew underscore Av underscore spotter Andrew Thank you Andrew So he's gone through And each episode He's Listed what we got. What we got. That is fucking so look, awesome. In episode seven, we got Valium and Oxycodone. Oh, he's got what well, he's listed everything we've ever received. Dude, that is. Oh, Andy, that, that is a fucking gift. Dude, Andy, fucking legend. Thank you so much. That actually wow. helps. Because now yeah, we can now. go back and turn some of the fuck shit we got sent to into TikToks. The Simpsons Disco Stew, episode 35. Look at What this. about anthrax and hemorrhoid plushes? I think that was real. Episode yeah. three. We got, remember it was like fake anthrax. Oh, oh the fucking singing. soft yeah, toys. This is hard. God, finally. Oh, this is so good. All right, so we thank you very much for that, Andrew. That will actually come in handy. Uh, before Don't you lose this, that, Michael. That before is you great. open that one, I'll open this one. Okay, I'll this keep it here. Oh, I don't like this. Viagra episode. Matt's 21. got something. Matt's got something. He's worried. It's too small a packages. Yeah, the small packages. This scares me. They're gone. Oh, Not there's good, someone though. in here. In a way. What is it, Matt? Is it some sort of biological material? Oh, what's that? What's oh, that? they look like they're nipple clamps. Nipple clamps. They Maybe. are too. Oh, they are. Can I have a look? Look, they even have the bit where it goes through the nipple piercing. Oh, cool. Nipple clamps. Yeah. I wonder what the other one is. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Stockings. Oh, it's a bit Either sexy. Way. Birthday stockings. Where did that There's come probably from? more shit in here, like important stuff that she sent. 
We got stockings and uh, nipple clamps. Now, hang on, we'll get to Nikki. It doesn't. There's no note or uh, ex- ex- explanation. They've just sent us stockings and uh, nipple clamps. Thank you, random person, for sending yeah. us stockings and nipple clamps. Now onto the big. We got a big box, well, like a medium-sized box, and from Nikki, fan from Germany, and it is full of the fucking coolest, yummiest. Oh, snack she's foods. been saying, yeah, she meant to send oh, it a while we ago. We have a Christmas decoration that says "fully actual." On. Fuck, we have no a way. Christmas ball ball that says "fully <gasps> it actual." It does too. On. Oh, that's so cool. Oh wait, here's the Holy Grail. Oh, it's the Ger- she has a new German segment. Oh, what do we got? I love yous, but don't fucking mess them up again. Yeah, fuck. That is, that, she's done like a she Holy wrote a book shit. she wrote a book for us oh that's wow that's taking German so sayings? long thank you Nikki that's so that good that is so good thank you Nikki alright that would have taken so long Matt say thank oh, you man. Matt there I is did some treats. so ungrateful thank look you Nikki look at this danke oh danke schön Milka oh mm, danke schön mein, danke schön Means thank you. Oh, these are gonna be so good. Look, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah, true. I'll have one of them. Oh, bong break. Mmm. Oh my god. Let's mm. finish them. <laughs> Wow. This oh is, my God. That's very good. This is like Kinder Surprise chocolate. Like it's mm. got the white chocolate filling. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is good. Mm. Dude, have one of these. They change you. Matt, it's your birthday. You're allowed to. They're so good. Nupspa milch. Yeah, it's actually a knusper. Oh my God, Sorry. the crisp in the middle is fucked. Mm, I remember that. <laughs> mm. I remember that when I was a little boy. Mm. This would be my dinner. <laughs> oh man, what's this one? Orange Zitrone mix. Flüssig gefüllt. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Look at Matt Brown sitting in his egg. <laughs> Dude, let's try the white chocolate. Nah, oh, it's like crispy. White chocolate's for fuck lele, fly lele. Oh my god. What is das? The D Weasel is my favorite. Look, a rubber for big mistakes, Matt. You mm. might need to rub some of those dying trees out, hey? <laughs> no, I'm just joking, mate. Mm. Can you pass me some water on the side? Because I'm burning up in here. <laughs> mm. You're right. The heat is insulated in the little egg behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked. Oh, my God. This is the best fucking present we've gotten in a while. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. How awesome is our podcast is people watching us eat chocolate? Uh, it's <laughs> ASMR or some shit. Mm. <laughs> All right. All right, All right. Let's move on. We got to stop this. This is madness. Here is a uh, Deutsche Papier. <laughs> this, this kannst du lesen, wenn du willst. Yeah, willst du mal lesen? Deutsches Papier. Here. Yeah. Lese mal. Oh, another one. There you go. Mm, no, mehr Deutsches Papier, huh? Oh my god. All right, we'll finish these and then that's that. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you so much, Nikki. Mm. <laughs> we nearly went and scoundreled them all. <laughs> that whole tray is gone mm. now. <laughs> they are incredible. <laughs> oh my god. That there's like it's kind of surprise. Like it's not. Same flavor. No. That's your new your new um oh, man. addiction. We ate like that like like it was a meal. <laughs> <laughs> that, that snack food should not, not be consumed in such a frenzy. <laughs> Your kidneys are going to have a hard time with that. Dude, you fucking, you barely chewed on some of those. I want a couple more. This is my last two and that's it. What do we got now, Brown? The prank call. Prank call time. Mm. All right, we're going to call the same pub that Rhonda was at as Arnold Fine. And Arnold Fine will be looking for her because she's missing. Okay. Can't seem to find her. Okay. And that's not good. That's not good for anyone. Here we go. This is just a normal conversation. Fuck. It's just a, like an Eastern European farmer moved to Australia. Hello, Nikki speaking. 
Uh, hello, my name is uh, Arnold Fine. I uh, look for uh, my uh, wife. Uh, her name is Ronde. Uh, she come to uh, your pub maybe uh, 12, 12, 30. And uh, I ha have not uh, seen her and uh, heard from her. I uh, call maybe see uh, you check um, if uh, Ronde uh, at uh, the pub. Huh? Um, so you're looking for a Ronda? Ronda, yeah. Uh, uh, R-H-O-N-D-A-H-H. Uh, 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 okay. Um, we haven't had anyone with that name come in today. Okay, she, um, um she, uh, thought, uh, big fat, a little fat, not, uh, too fat, but, uh, she very, uh, drunk. She, uh, cannot, very, uh, very drunk. She left her house. Uh, very drunk, she up all night, uh, she's sick, she's sick, my wife, she's sick, she meant to uh, feed uh, the pig, I come home and the pig uh, starving in the backyard, so um, I could try call her and uh, she she answered maybe hour ago, but she very drunk, say she pop, and uh, yeah, maybe you look for her, see maybe, but the uh, porkies, uh, she laugh, she laugh at the porky machine, uh, she played, she slap at the machine, uh, maybe have a look oh, okay. for fat blonde uh, lady, fat blonde, blonde curl hair, curly hair, yeah. Blonde curly hair, mm. and she's drunk, yeah? Yeah, very drunk, okay. yes. I'll have a look around the gaming room now, um, if not, I'll keep the phone mic on. Okay. Uh, yeah, if she's not here, I'll let you know. It won't be one second, okay? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, very nice, huh? That's okay. 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 Uh, my wife... Uh, where she go, huh? She uh, expect uh, me, man, to do uh, dinner. You cannot... You cannot do that to me. I all fine. I uh, run around all day uh, selling pig, and uh, you go to pop a uh, middle day. No, no, no. You write that down, eh? No, no, no. You come home and you cook for your man. No, eh? oh, I'm sick. My wife is sick. No, no, no. Eh? She healthy to enough to go to pop. Uh, she not healthy enough to make Arnold find my uh, 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 flash. What? I'm making no sense, huh? <laughs> Fuck, huh? <laughs> Fuck my wife. My sick wife, dumb bitch wife. Leave me to do cook. I uh, do not cook. I am man. <laughs> hey! Oh, my little Honda. I worry, I worry for her. <laughs> uh, she no, I worry. Anyway, you still there? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Yeah, um, so we haven't had anyone come in um, at the moment with her name Wanda and who's like, got curly hair. Um, there's literally no one in our poker room at the moment, so fortunately she is not here. Okay, um, um, yeah. I, uh, if you uh, see a fat, uh, blonde, uh, curly hair, uh, Ronde, uh, can you tell her that uh, Arnold Fine try call her, and he uh, very upset um, with her. Uh, you write that down, maybe you write it down. Eh? I'm very upset, and uh, I cannot cook dinner for the pigs and me, and she needs to come home uh, and cook dinner, whether she she's sick or not. You write that down. Eh? Yeah. If she I'll grab your contact phone number just in case we do see her as well. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So what was that phone number? Uh, one sec, uh, I, get, uh, I do not know uh, by heart. Then uh, make a note, uh, you tell her she come home right now. Huh? I'm fine, uh, very cross. And uh, I are selling pig all day. I sell pig to butcher. And uh, I come home and my wife is uh, out uh, drinking at the pub, huh? Is it crazy, huh? Yeah. 
Okay, we'll, we'll keep an eye out and we'll give you a call if we do see you and we'll pass that message on to you. She has to, you understand, I do not uh, cook dinner, I, I do not uh, know how to cook dinner, you understand, yes, I, uh, right now, I'm uh, starving, I'm starving to death, huh? you understand? Okay, I will pass that on to you, okay, I do have to go now and do this and I will definitely call you if we see her. Okay, right? okay, thank you very much, you've been very helpful, uh, <laughs> fucking Rhonda, huh? I find her, huh? You have a good night, mate. Uh, okay, baby, I speak Bye. soon, huh? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Arnold Fine lives! Well, He's real! By the, the number I gave her. She which... thinks there's a man out there who honestly <laughs> wants it. She's, gonna, she's got it in her head that she has to find Rhonda. That's in her shift. Dude, she's like going to try and throughout the shift is, look in the gaming area more than dude, she normally would. This is what now it sets it up. That's not a, an amazing prank call, I know, but this sets it up for the following weeks when Rhonda we calls, keep. they'll re start remembering who Rhonda is, right? <laughs> And then it gets crazy, baby. This is the setup, like the butcher one. I don't want to get your hopes up, but I have a feeling I've, that- Dude, uh, this is the most happy I've ever been. <laughs> this is like storyline prank calls again. This is like storyline prank calls. By the way, the number that I gave her was that number from the girl you spoke to on the Michelle. <laughs> You gave her Michelle's number. No. Melissa or something. Yeah, no, uh, Shell, whatever. Michelle, yeah. yeah. Sammy. Sammy's number. You didn't give her Sammy. You gave yeah, me. I did. I gave her Sammy's number. <laughs> oh, no. I wish so it Connor, was Melissa. So please blur that, blur, blur that number out, please, Connor. Or That's my it out. new girlfriend. Oh, look at how <laughs> protective he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Not our best podcast, but hey, you got to cut us some slack. It's 42 degrees Celsius <laughs> in here. <laughs> It's so hot. Anyway, if this video made you laugh or you had a little smile at yourself or something, maybe consider giving a like or a comment right now. It's the end. It's the end now. So you can do that and make us happy for another week. And come back straight at you next week. And Michael's parting thoughts. You are forced to be free. I think. We are the best. We're the best. best. We're the 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 best. 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 We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. You got to finish it, Matt. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the. Say it. We're the best. We're the best. 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 You have to believe it. Say it. We're the best. Matt, come on, hurry the fuck up and say it. It's so hot in here. Don't oh, you want to go and be with your... I was going to say partner. <laughs> Sammy. Dude, Sammy. <laughs> That's Sammy now. He didn't even say it. But we're the best. We're the best. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs>